What is going on guys? Welcome to another video here on the channel. It's pretty late. It's about 1140 right now. I'm still going to post it anyway though because uh, ultimately you guys that are following some NCAA football 14 need to know the information that I'm going to supply you guys about your picks and what to expect for this section in particular going forward. So for those of you guys that are interested in MLB The Show or Madden and things like that, I want to talk to you guys about what's coming for the website and we'll talk about these things as well. So Discord, Patreon, things like that. So, um, yeah, Patreon. I, th I think it's time. I think ultimately it's time. And I'll, I'll talk to you guys about that in just a second. But, um, okay, so here's the dealio. So the website was set up primarily because with so much content that I'm bringing you guys, a lot of times there's way too many days in between each upload right? And it's a lot easier to write things for content for me versus making a video, spending time, you know, editing, editing the video down, getting it down to size that makes sense, like 15, 18 minutes or something like that. I know the football ones are kind of long because we do, you know, we do like three or four teams each and every upload that we show, you know, there's just a lot more time for me to update a website then there is making a video, like playing the game, making the cuts, making the edits, making a video in Premiere, and then posting it on YouTube and having to wait for it to process and upload. And I mean, my computer is pretty fast. You know, I did end up buying an, like a gaming PC and uh, the processor is pretty dang good. And, you know, I'm not saying that to brag or anything, but I'm saying that, you know, this is ultimately what I what I wanted to do is, is uh, get a gaming computer that you know can upload things faster, can process things a lot faster, can get the get these videos a little bit higher quality, things like that. So, goal accomplished. But still, I'm still having a tough time trying to manage time and uploads. And quite frankly, I don't want to take a break, you know, from making videos. And ultimately, I, th I feel like the website is going to do the videos justice right i feel like we're not going to miss anything as long as you guys come here and check out the website i feel like you're going to get you're going to get more content per se you're going to get more content than you probably would have gotten in just a youtube video so basically that's how i kind of want to use the website more as like a supplement piece an add-on piece to the content that you're already getting so we'll talk about the website and the layout uh, we'll talk about Twitter, Discord, and the Patreon page, and then uh, go from there. So, obviously, here's the homepage, and basically, this is just telling you guys what this website is for, what's it, what's it all about. There's a picture of me at Cedar Point. So, yay, face reveal, right? Up to 3,450 people. There's the face reveal. So, <laughs> I'm pr I'll probably get into like getting a web, like a webcam or something soon, but not yet, not today. So, this is an about section. I gotta fix this link, but if you go here to the Gold Squad, that's just gonna bring you to this page here. So for those of you guys that are new that haven't subscribed yet, you know that's where you can do that. I'll bring you straight to a subscribe page on YouTube, so that'll kind of be easy for you guys to find me there. Uh, if you go to the About page, though, this goes over who I am, why I decided to get into YouTube, you know, what's my gaming background. That's me. That's my little brother. <laughs> I think he's got the controller backwards. I can't tell. I really can't tell. And I think I'm holding mine sideways. It looks like. No, and that's in the middle. Okay, we're good. But uh playing Nintendo. I don't know what we're playing. Probably playing like Ninja Turtles or something. You know, the Manhattan Project, which is a really good game, by the way. Um, this is our old home. Don't live there anymore, obviously. Married now. He's uh still living with the parents. But uh this is not our house any longer. It's, we've definitely moved on from there. Uh, look at that t-shirt, though. Power Rangers. The original Power Rangers. <laughs> this has got to be like 1998, 1997 ish. But uh, yeah, so this is just kind of an about me section. Really like dig in to see, you know, who I am and kind of where I, where I've been, and really ultimately why I decided to get into YouTube. The you section is basically just what it seems like. It's an about you section. 
and uh, just what you guys have meant to me and uh, why I feel like that's important, um, why I feel like you guys are important to the success of the channel, for the success of you know, what I'm trying to accomplish with this YouTube channel. And I've said it before, ultimately, I think that that's the goal of everybody who starts YouTube is you know, to eventually make it a, a full-time thing. Um, am I begging for money? No, I've never, I never have been, but I, I think that that's ultimately always in the back of your mind is that who wouldn't want to play video games and, and create enjoyable content in general, you know, one day as a full-time job. Ultimately, I feel like that that's a really, uh, a cool aspiration to have. And I, I feel like that's, if, if I don't reach that, if I don't ever get there, then that that's fine. That honestly, that that's fine, but it's worth a shot right? It's worth a shot. And that's ultimately what the goal is. But the primary goal is obviously to always give you guys enjoyable content. And as you guys can even see here, you know, it's all helped create better content and give me the motivation to keep going and keep learning, learning how to evolve and channel growth, make content more creative and giving me something to aspire to. And that's what you guys have done. Now, when I started YouTube, I didn't think that I was going to get to this point but now that I'm seeing that the content you guys are enjoying, you know, has some traction, it's not out of the question for me to start thinking that maybe there's some potential here. Maybe there's a maybe that it's only it can only go upward from here, right? So that's kind of the thought process. But again, obviously the content has evolved because of you guys. The quality has evolved because of your feedback. You know what you guys have been saying about the about the content in general and uh and we're going to get into that here in the NCAA football uh section even in the franchise videos for Madden and for the Reds even for the Tigers like a lot of you guys have been here since the start and you know it's it's pretty sweet it's pretty sweet and um so for that I, I thank you guys so going to the about section even furthermore, this is the video section. This could obviously change because I'm not going to be doing the Reds forever for MLB The Show. I'm not going to be doing the Bengals forever for Madden. And then here's just a little here, a little there, just kind of kind of the, the content that I create every now and then just to kind of break up that main content. I got to do more with Ricky Holberman for sure. Um, Siege, we're doing Sunday Siege with Snipper Riffle. I'm going to be adding in some of my other friends who do play a Rainbow Six Siege just to kind of give you guys a little surprise. I know, right? Surprise, huh? Gonna add on to that. So not much of a surprise now though, but hey. Uh, so that section's just kind of get you guys, again, just to know what I'm doing, what I'm thinking about doing in the future, so on and so forth. This is where you guys can chat with me a little bit. So that's my Twitter handle. And then there's my email address, my direct email address that you can contact me with. If you don't feel like putting your first name here, you know, you don't have to do that. You can just go ahead and give me the channel name in that first name section. That'll be fine. Um, email address, got to know who it's coming from. And then if you want to drop me just a message and say, hey, you know, I hate, I hate you <laughs> or I hate your content. Here's what you should do. Here's some things you should do better. Uh, or that you like it and you love it, right? Or some suggestions on some other things that you might want to see, especially even with, like with the website or even with the YouTube channel. Feel free. I'm open to feedback as long as it's constructive feedback. If, if you don't have a point, then that's going to kind of bother me a little bit. But yeah, so, uh, you know, ultimately just I just ask that you have a point. If you have a gripe, please have a point. And therefore, it will be valid. So uh, going forward, MLB The Show, if we click here, this section is called The Stretch. Ultimately, this might not only be about MLB The Show. It, it could be about, you know, sports talk in general, MLB talk in general. You know, The Show is technically a term that's used all the time in baseball in general. And, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be strictly about the video game MLB The Show, but... I'm thinking mostly it's going to be the, for the majority of the posts. It will be. This is basically going to talk about you know some franchise discussions, some some games that you guys might not have seen. You know, get you guys some updates. Uh, what 
some players are doing, things like that. So you guys can have another, yet again, another place where you guys can see that so we're not spending so much time explaining it in the videos. We can basically use the videos for gameplay and then we can kind of use the website for discussion and some rationale and things like that, some scouting updates, kind of what my thoughts are on certain people, things like that. And then that's where the Discord will come in, which I'll talk about in just a second. So that's what this section is going to be, but it's coming soon because it's kind of late to do that now with MLB kind of dying down and the Reds kind of dying down here a little bit. So this is probably going to start launching probably next spring, I'm thinking. So when MLB 19 starts getting the rumor mill going, that's probably when I'll start that. So, all right, let's go to the big kahuna here, NCAA football 14. So for those of you guys that I'm going to just jump right in here real quick, the Wednesday video for Team Builder is going to be uploaded to, on 1017 at 8 p.m., so mark, you can't mark it down. It's going to be uploaded at 8 o'clock tonight. So you guys basically have 8 o'clock tonight to get your picks in on who you think is going to win each game that we have on slate. And I'll talk about that in just a second. And then from that point, we're also going to be having week 9. We have week 8 here on the 17th, and we have week 9 here on the 20th. So you guys will have until 11 a.m., on Saturday, the 20th, to get your picks in for those to count for Saturday. And then I'll talk to you guys about when the standings are updated and all that. So, um, okay, so this section here, NCAA football, the community that you guys have built with me on this has been probably one of the most interactive communities, I think, that, that are even on YouTube. I mean, it's crazy. The amount of storylines that you guys have been able to create and help us create, me and my brother I'm speaking about, um, even like Heel Boy, you know, his contributions to this, um, this project. And for those of you guys that have, you know, even offered and lend, lended your advice and your assistance and your help along the way, I can think of a lot of people along the way. Brian Street, you know, you stepped up and you asked for your help or asked, asked me. To, uh, to get your help on some things. Uh, Sequestral, you guys, I mean, you and Heel Boy have always, you know, been right there for me to for me to text or message and say, hey, you know, can you check something on Team Builder real quick for some of, some of these teams, you know, when it was actually up? You know, I can think of so many other people as well. Um, Be Fearless, he's been commenting all over the place. Todd Parker, you know, you guys with your... Uh, <laughs> with your hashtags, Dylan Bowers with your hashtags. You know, those are just a few guys that come to mind. Um, SCP, Octagonal Gaming, uh, Spotlight Productions, all you guys, you guys have your own little niche right there. Um, yeah, I mean, I can think of so many people, uh, you know, I'd really have to start digging back in my mind though. Like there's so many people that have helped build this NCAA football community that I can't, I can't thank you guys enough because look what you did. This is what you've done. I wouldn't do this kind of stuff if we had a thousand subscribers. There's there's no there's no reason to do that with a thousand, right? I mean with three thousand and growing. Yeah, I can see I can see why we're doing this, right? And so I guess this is all to say this is what you guys have created. You have created something that is unique, something that is probably pretty durable. It can stand the test of time, even with a lot of other games coming out like IMV Gaming's Gridiron Champions. As long as we're still able to use these teams, we're going to keep going, right? And this is what you guys have done, and this is pretty awesome. So, okay, so let's get into the pick center here. So if you go to the pick center, this is going to be where Heel Boy makes his selections. So this week is kind of weird because his picks will be revealed on Wednesday morning. So tomorrow morning on the 17th, his picks will be revealed, but you guys will need to make your picks or edit your picks here before eight o'clock on Wednesday night. So this link here will always be updated. This will always be updated every, oh shoot, that's my uh, OBS right there, I'm recording. 
doing that. Um, this section here will always be updated every Wednesday. So every Wednesday. It won't be updated this Wednesday because we have games this week. Now, because we upload on every Saturday, we'll have those Wednesday preview videos. That's kind of when you'll want to make your your picks. You got till Thursday, you got till Friday, and then you got till Saturday mornings early to make your picks here for them. <clears throat> excuse me, for them to count, right? So that's how that's gonna work. This week's just kind of weird. Now, like I said, for after Wednesday. I'm going to have this updated Thursday, so next Thursday. I'm going to have this link updated so you guys can actually make your picks Thursday, Friday, and early Saturday morning for those to count. So don't worry about that. That will be updated for you guys to make your picks there. Uh, for Heel Boy, this, like I said, he is going to have his section updated every Wednesday morning. So that way, Wednesday afternoons and Wednesday nights, We'll have that Wednesday uh, preview video, and then there you go. So you guys can go and check this out and see who he's picking. Um, so let's go check the these two things out here, and then I'll talk about this conference uh, or uh, contest standings. So if we go here, we can see the matchups. This is week seven. Here's the matchups for week eight, and he has his picks submitted. So when you guys see this, the picks have been submitted for him. I just haven't revealed it yet because I don't I don't want to reveal this until obviously Wednesday morning. So let's just go to week seven, the picks, and you guys can see, you know, his section here where he talks about, you know, his uh, rationale and his statistics and things like that's kind of where his thought process lies. You guys don't have to follow suit with him, right? He's kind of at a, at a disadvantage because he is competing in the contest as well, and. Um, it, so it sucks for him because you guys are all going to basically look at his picks already, right? And if you guys don't really want to read it, those that's just a quick summary of who he picked. So this section here with all the logos is who he picked for uh, that game. Whoa, whoa, weird. Okay. All right. And then if we go back, go back once more. So if you make your picks, it'll shoot you here. And then... Uh, Oh, yeah, one more thing. So when you try to make your picks, please make sure you enter the YouTube name because otherwise when I get your email address, if it's different than your YouTube name, I'm not going to have any idea who you are, which leads me to this point, right? So that here's the contest standings. I'm not – see, this, this is all your YouTube names. This is how I, I identify you guys and who you are. If you don't leave your – YouTube name, I'm not going to give you I'm not going to be able to give you credit for your picks, which obviously you don't want that to happen. You want to have credit for your picks. Um, I still have to update this actually because these points have not been allocated correctly yet with whoever won, you know, cuz Ardmore won, uh, Little Rock won, things like that. So I got to update this. This week's like I said, is a little funky, but I will have this updated Wednesday morning and then for the Saturday games there after their conclusion I'll have that updated every Sunday night or every Sunday morning as well so every Sunday you can count on the standings being updated so for next week the 27th when we pick up regular team builder action you guys will see on the 28th the standings will be updated the 4th, November 4th, the standings will be updated, so on and so forth, right? So the what, what I don't want to do is I don't want to reveal, I don't want to make this public, I don't want to edit this any time before Saturday, right? I just don't want to do that because then you guys are going to copy each other's picks and everything and so on and so forth. That is why I have not updated who won and uh, that's why I kind of I, I just don't want to do that. I, I don't want you guys to see who your picks, who other people's picks were uh, for the week that's left to be played. So, all right, so that's that. That's the pick center. Now, if we go to headlines and analysis, this is kind of where you guys are going to be able to look and see some some news articles, right? So you guys are going to see the thumbnail that we showed on YouTube, 
And basically, this is just like a like an article on ESPN, right? So we can get this, like we got some links here. You click on Nyquan Murray, you get at the marker. Or play, 41 seconds. Here's Check this play out right here. Has some pressure coming up there. Boom. Oh, on oh, hammer. And no. no wide open. Oh, no. Absolutely wide open. And James Washington is the So there you go. James Washington comes up big with that tackle. Um, so that right there is pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. I think that adds an extra layer, an extra dimension to uh, this series and this content. You know, basically you have some you have some head coaching quotes, you got player statistics, things like that, some player quotes as well. Willis, Cameron Willis, Ben's a dynamic player, an offensive threat. He showed that tonight. Yeah, so, you know, I'll have that updated also every Wednesday. So I got a lot of work to do here because I got to get week number six done. I got to get week number seven done. And that's all coming tomorrow as well. Now, as far as week eight and week nine, that will be done on the 24th as well. So, so every Wednesday basically is NCAA football day. That's pretty much what I'm getting at. All right, so last but not least, team profiles and recruiting trail. This is where, on this section here, is where you guys are going to be able to follow your recruits, your custom recruits, kind of want storylines from you guys about these players. If you don't have any, that's fine. We'll make some up. But this is kind of where we can talk about those recruits, where they're leaning towards, who they're thinking about going to, you know, what's the rationale behind it, you know, why is Kyler Rivato trying to go to Army when he's from Canada, things like that, right? So if your storylines are appropriate, then we'll throw them in there. I think that that's pretty cool. Uh, might even get some quotes from the head coaches, even the players, and uh, you know talk about why they're targeting a specific position and things like that. So, yeah, it'll be pretty fun. That section will be pretty fun. Uh, as far as the team profiles go, this is going to take some time. I keep pushing this back, like coming Saturday, 10:20. That's probably not realistic. I think what I'm going to have to do is like every Saturday, I'm going to have to like get one team done uh, per week. Because basically, how I see that, how I envision this, is like a Wikipedia page, like um, the history, the the player statistics, team record holders, you know, jersey sets, what they used to look like in the past, what they look like now, so on and so forth. What what's the history of the school? You know, what are they known for? Basically, kind of like we did in the uh, introduction video, things like that. So that's the team builder section. As far as Madden goes, it's probably going to work something like MLB The Show section. Retro gaming, I really want to get involved in that. I just have not had the time to do it. Um, but like Ninja Turtles, Sonic, you know, some of the older school games like Kirby, Donkey Kong Country, like that would be pretty fun. Uh, and as far as the blog goes, that's just going to be me talking about gaming, opinions, rants, things like that. Just nothing about anything other than, other than gaming really like what, what what am i thinking about battlefield what am i thinking about you know call of duty what am i thinking about um what the where mlb the show is going you know basically just kind of like that just a nice little blog section about gaming in general so that is the website so let me look here that's uh that's 23 minutes right there 24 minutes talking about the website so all right, so after all that, oh, that's uh, that's messed up. John Sacco, that's messed up. All right, so Spider-Man DLC, nice, okay. I, I got to get a move on then. Sounds like with my Spider-Man series, but all right. Um, Twitter, like I said, go, go to GoldGlover9, at GoldGlover9. That's where you guys can kind of look and see, like, you know, what I'm sharing, things that I'm interested in, like even – trying to get some engagement with you guys who's your favorite specialist in black ops 4 stuff like that so you can you guys can get an update if you don't get updates on your phone for uh, videos that get uploaded to youtube um kind of my discussions with other gaming companies ea sports i do a lot of that uh, insomniac treyarch you know me talking to different 
people on on Twitter, my discussions with them. So it's at GoldLover9. There you go. So as far as Discord goes, it'd be really cool to get you guys into this Discord server just so I can kind of like talk to you guys one-on-one and have like real-time discussion versus just going back to a YouTube comment that you guys might not be able to see in a couple days because sometimes YouTube buries stuff, right? As, as, as far as Discord goes, you know, it's really, it's, it's super interactive and that's really what I, I pride myself on is being interactive with you guys. You know, a lot of times, I see you guys' comments and then I just can't get to them. But, it, you know, it might be like three or four days, but I still get to it and I still respond as best as I can and as most relevantly as I can to what your comment was was all about. So you guys can see that I've got a couple uh, sections here, and different channels that we can talk about, specifically MLB The Show stuff or Team Builder stuff specifically, Call of Duty, Rainbow Six Siege, retro gaming so this sports talk section is something that i've always wanted to do not just for this channel but just in general i've always wanted to be able to talk sports and you know have like a podcast type of thing so i think it'd be kind of cool to like bring you guys on and like create a create a little show or something like create a uh, sports talk show that would be pretty sweet to get you guys to like call in or you know uh get some voice channel going i, I might even put sports talk here in, in the create a channel uh, and we can even do that. So that'd be pretty fun. It'd obviously be, have to be moderated because um, I don't want people to be toxic in here. That's one thing I really appreciate you guys for is in the comment section, I don't really see a whole lot of toxic people, you know, especially with subscribers. I do see a lot of that with non subscribers, you know, people uh, throwing shade and showing the hate, but, you know, you're always going to get that you're always going to get that there's really no way around it so but you guys are you guys are pretty dang good you know you guys are awesome about all that so i would appreciate that going forward here in this discord channel so the invite is actually in the comment section below it's pinned as well as in the description as well so that'll be pretty fun for you guys to get in and uh, be involved in that so as far as a patreon goes I'm really, I've always been, how do I want to put this? Because we're running pretty high on time here. Um, I've, I've always said that ultimately the goal for me, even in the beginning of this episode or this video, the, the ultimate goal was for me to eventually one day like do YouTube full time, right? And I always felt really uncomfortable about even even when I reached a thousand subscribers, that's like people said like, dude, you start a Patreon, you know, ask for people for money. And it's like, I, I work a full-time job, right? So like I'm doing, I'm doing okay. Right. But gaming is my passion, right? It always has been. I mean, you guys could see it from, from here, really. It's always been my passion. I've always done it. I've always loved it. I've always done it. I just got to the game late. I really did. I put my token in way too late. And, uh, you know, I think ultimately that's still the goal is, is I do want to be able to do this full time. And with all the work that's put in to whether it's the website whether it's, I mean, look at that, it's 29 bucks. <laughs> it's pretty funny, actually. Um, ad revenue right there. Uh, but with all the work that's put in to these videos, um, my wife has actually sacrificed a lot. So big time shout out to her. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of nights where I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not coming to bed. You know, I'm staying up till midnight sometimes two in the morning, um, doing this stuff. And it, it, I don't say that with spite. I just want you guys to know this. I don't say that with spite. I, I say that with, um, just letting you guys know that I'm, I love what I'm doing. And I, uh, I appreciate you guys to the point where I want to make every video that I put out there good. I want this channel to be entertaining. I w that's the ultimate goal for this channel. 
and uh you know my my wife watches or listens to a blog it's the minimalists so shout out to them and they have a they have a saying that really resonates with me and, and it's always they always end they always end their their show their podcast with if anything that they said in their podcast or anything that they've done provides value into your life whether it's the advice they give whether it's something comical that they've done or whatever it is if if you feel like something's added this has added value to your life then they would just they appreciate you know giving back you know just showing your support right it it could be a dollar it could be 5 bucks a month it doesn't matter right just as long as it's something to say hey thank you <laughs> you know even even I, I i even take likes okay i take likes i take comments i take subscribes those are good likes to have right those are good signs of sh- of support to have do i do i have an idea of what the tiers are or what the what the goals are I have no idea yet, but I just want to let you guys know that I'm going to be starting a Patreon page and especially with this website coming up and the merchandise for uh, team builder teams and getting their logos on the merchandise and things like that. You know, I'm in discussion with a few uh, merchandise companies. I'll probably have to, you know, up the cost a little bit, like you know, maybe raise it five dollars from what I bought it for, just so I can earn a little bit of profit on it. Um, because that's ultimately the goal, right? Is to that's why you're selling the merchandise, right? Is to make a little bit of profit on it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna screw you guys or anything. You know, I think it'd be, I think it'd just be cool for you guys to have like an Amarillo hat. <laughs> it'd be sweet, or an Amarillo like shirt, or Ardmore shirt, Nebraska State shirt, polo, beanie, you know, whatever, whatever it is backpack i don't know coffee mug stuff like that i think that's pretty cool um but yeah so all of this all this stuff that i have in the pipeline from patreon discord the website merchandise ultimately it's coming it's coming to a point where i'm noticing that the content that's being created is showing some value to you guys out there and if there's any part of you that feels like you want to give back, I'm not going to stop you, right? As far as the tiers go, like I said, I haven't decided on what those are going to be or what what patrons are going to get for their tiered subscriptions or not. I haven't decided yet. But um, like I said, I just want to let you guys know kind of what's going going on with me and what's going on with the channel uh, so on and so forth. So let me know what you guys think. Leave it in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video. And once again, make sure if you guys are watching this for the team builder stuff, make sure you guys get your picks in before eight o'clock tonight. And it just hit Wednesday the 17th. So this video is being posted this morning, Wednesday morning. Um, get your picks in before Wednesday night at 8 PM. And then, uh, tomorrow, Thursday, I'll have the new link so you guys can make your picks here, make your picks there, or make your picks early on Saturday morning because all these videos going forward on Saturdays are going to be posted at 11 a.m. So make sure you guys mark that on your calendars if you have not done so already, if you would like to. Obviously, they're going to be up and you can watch them whenever, but that's just when they're going to be up. So that's going to be it, guys. Hope you liked this episode, like this video. Not an episode, but it's, it is a video. It's a video. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, peace.